Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I've had a color scheme that I saw on a beetle in my head for a while and it, believe it or not, it was red, white, turquoise and black and I'm going to maybe flow troll swipe with my little card and I'm going to start with my spatula and I was going to use the black enamel but I think I'm going to add that if I need to. I'm just going to add some paint for right now. That's my my normal mix, which is half Walmart semi gloss Onyx uh, from Color Place, and the other half is Artist Loft. This is an Anita's White Metallic, and I think I'm just going to go for it. I will add the red afterwards because I'm a lot nervous about what happens with red and black. That's, wow. Okay, I'll try that again. Just swiping with my OXO omelet turning spatula where the spirit leads me. I'm going to wipe that right off on the edge so I have less, less schmutz. And I'm going to wipe it off before I do the white actually. I really don't mind some stuff. I'm getting ready for red. Am I? <laughs> Maybe it just wants to be turquoise and black and white, because that's pretty cool. I'm going to take whatever paint will smear on the edges from my spatula and do that right now. That way I don't waste it and I have one edge covered. So, now, do I really want to add red? <laughs> ah, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to get rid of that flow troll. which I would put in with a card in any case. So let's just do a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. I may not want a whole lot of red, to tell you the truth. I'm just gonna fill in my gaps that I see. I might put a little bit of red right on my blade. I'm not sure I like that, but it doesn't matter because I can make it go away. I recently had some fun giving myself some art therapy. It occurs to me I would love to have some silver in here, which is kind of the same thing as the white metallic to me, at least. And I've got some Arteza. still be kind of light. It'll probably be gray by the time I'm done spatula using the spatula to put it into place. I still don't have much red. This could be really quick. I should tell you guys if you want to help me out, shop my Amazon link. It's at no to cost you, and you can find the OXO omelet turning spatula there. Check my link tree underneath the video for Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Instagram is where I post every day when, I, when I'm painting on that particular day. I could definitely leave some of that silver. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah. I'll work it out. I hope. Well, there's always blue if I change my mind. I'm going to knock off anything on my spatula along the edge of the canvas.
and I have not swiped with Floetrol yet, so that could be interesting. I think I was getting to the point where I thought I might not still. I can always just add color, and I don't have to use the flat side, I can use the edge to push some colors up. I still want to use the Floetrol. I've got color on my spatula that I'm going to get rid of judiciously, cautiously, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Add a little more white metallic and maybe flood this edge here. Yeah, we'll just knock that right over. That's kind of a that's kind of interesting. I like using the edge of my spatula to add lines. This right here, I think, needs to be red. So a little bit of line, a little bit of a line of red along the edge of my spatula. Put that right in there. Oh, it is time. If I was going to ever, yeah, that's that's not bad. If I was ever going to put some Floetrol in there, this is the time. I'm. I don't have any faith at all that the um, the silver is going to become viable, and I'm also not sure where I want to take a chance on ruining anything. And I have schmutz on the corner of my card. Darn, where did that even come from? I like to keep my cards pretty clean. Like I attempt to keep my spatula clean. I'm liking these little droplets here, and I'm thinking maybe some more black in there would be good. And that also might provide me with the flow troll that I'm interested in. That's better. I like that. All right. So I guess it's time to find out. Maybe if I leave it alone for a minute, I can take a picture of it. Let's find out. what silver on top of red does. I got some cells. I'm not sure they're going to show up because it's sort of white and silver. I've got schmutz. Where are my tweezers? I know they are here somewhere. I know I dropped a pair into the water bucket. All right, fingers will have to do in a pinch. I really kind of want some magenta, and I know that's, that's, it feels a little like cheating, but I like the idea of it together. Oh yeah, no, that makes it, I'm happier with that by far. Let's use that flow troll on that side of the card. So this is definitely abstract expressionism for me. This is intuitive, instinctive, whatever you want to call it, spontaneous art. I'm going to grab a little more, I'm going to wipe that card off and grab a little more Floetrol and hope I don't overdo it because sometimes simple is better. Not that I would be the proof of that. I want that filled in. So that's got quite a bit going on. I'm thinking there might be still some room for some white. Some more white metallic from Anita's. The question is, can I leave it alone or do I need to do something to it? And generally, I'm thinking that I would like to do something to it. It's at this stage that I could put chain in here and have a pretty good time. I 
I like discovering new textures and using the edge of my card and the edge of the spatula are pretty neat. And I definitely like having added that magenta. I added the magenta. It's a quinacridone magenta from Golden. And I'm not done with the black yet, evidently. I am going to use some of that. That's pretty interesting. I'm liking that quite a bit. I'm thinking maybe a little tiny bit of... I like dragging and I don't... When I'm doing abstract expression, abstract expressionism, I don't mind if it's down to canvas. Just putting a bunch of arcs and scrapes in there for the fun of it. Definitely feeling like I'm playing fast and loose with paint. I want a little more magenta. And then I'm going to try and get myself to quit before I'm to the point where I decide that chain is the only solution. Because <laughs> I've liked this at a bunch of stages along the way. Yeah, that's not bothering me. So, what did I not tell you? I did not tell you that uh, there's Teespring clothing below the video. All over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And should you ever want to see anything that I produce as a design on all over print leggings or t-shirts. Or any of the other cool stuff that are all at Teespring that you can see under the video. You should let me know. This is a little bothersome here. I'm not sure what to do about that. I'm thinking maybe... Hopefully that wasn't... <laughs> a mistake. No, it's just a very organic looking spiky plant type. I think it's part of a series actually. a torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint and I'm pretty sure I interrupted myself so I'm sorry about that please give me a thumbs up if you watch the videos longer you assist me my views are way down in January as I'm recording this I guess I shouldn't worry since I still have like 65,000 I want to pull that sideways. Don't ask me why. I could be sorry. The temptation to add more silver or gold is intense. The temptation to add more magenta is intense. I'm almost to the place where I could tip this if I wanted to. I think I like that. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, I just got an incentive from my muse to try some hot orchid in there, because I can. That's the name of my first book. It's next to my second book on the Amazon link, called Unlimited Possibilities. It's a very limited color palette, but I really, really, really love the hot orchid from Color Art.
I really didn't do a lot of Floetrol swiping, I have to say. I could have done a whole lot more. Now this particular skewer has a curve in it, like so, so I can just dip. I can dip that curve. And drag some paint. That's cool. Am I done? I'm not sure. I'm seeing this in here and it's bugging me. Is it bugging me less? <laughs> beginning to have this um, fringe of the 60s mid-century modern weird vibe to it but I think it needs to be called done so I can move on to something else I say that <laughs> you can't trust me because I love the hot orchid and it just calls to me It's, it's different. I mean, the only other thing that I would really do was probably add orange, and that would... Orange or purple. <laughs> okay, so I've got two, lift, two minutes left to tell you guys I do sell my artwork, and I break my own rules all the time. So I'm going to throw some purple in there. literally throw and that's that's doing it for me okay the temptation to add chain is immense and this hanging out here is just bugging me That's the only curve like that in there. So I love you guys. There's over 1,900 of you subscribed. If you're new, please be welcomed. If you're not new, thank you for being here. Appreciate that. Hopefully I don't ruin this in the next moment. Until I'm satisfied, I'm not done. Makes me want to flow troll swipe. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the end of part one, or it's done, one way, one way or the other. Please give me a thumbs up, like my videos, share my videos, look for the end screen exhibition video that has the monthly drawing on it. And if you'd like to be in the monthly drawing, find the PayPal or Patreon icons on the bottom right hand corner of my channel banner, or the, or the icons on my link tree. And if you make a donation to help support the production of videos, uh, then you will be automatically entered when I see that email across my across my computer. I do Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. I think I said that already on the link tree. And um, Facebook groups, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expression to Start Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has albums. And you can check those out. They're the YouTube artworks. They're not all there, but there are quite a few. Expression to Start Studio Gallery Totes and More is also a shop no button away from Pinterest, uh, excuse me, <laughs> pixels.com and Fine Art America. Thank you for the wonderful comments. Thank you for all the wonderful donations that have helped keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate that. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. At least it's, I tried to say the red, black, turquoise family, except for that purple. <laughs> I might change a few things, but not much. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batson.